Hi everyone, Jonathan here. Hope you guys are doing great and are taking good care of yourselves. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how you can add UV to the Python package manager inside your Docker containers. I'm doing this because I've seen a lot of questions that ask how to do it. And it's funny, given that the documentation actually states clearly how to do it. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can build your images of your applications from pre-built derived images from some of the popular operating systems like Debian or Alpine Linux. And yeah, that's going to be the topic of this video. And without wasting your time, let us get into it. To get started, I'm going to create a new FastAPI project using the FastAPI new command. So this is a command that has been created to help us create new FastAPI projects. And what it does is to create a folder structure as well as a virtual environment and a fast API installation, specifically a standard fast API installation with tools like the fast API CLI and UV control and our application. So I'll do that with UVX. I'll say UVX fast API new. And then in here as well, I'll provide the name of the folder where I want to create this fast API project. Let me call that the to do's folder. Once I'm done doing that, we now see success, our created fast API project to do this created. We can seed into that and then run UV fast API dev. So if I do exactly that, we'll now notice that our server is going to be running on localhost 8000. So if I click on this and go to my browser right here, I'm now going to see, um, our hello world message being returned to us. Now I've opened these two things because I needed to show you that all I'm going to be talking about in this video is going to be located on the documentation right here. And you can also check out the GitHub repository where we can see the packages or the containers that are released for the specific versions of UV you want to use. So going back here, what we've done so far is to create a new fast API project. We've run our server with the UV run command. And now I can stop this and basically open this up in VS code. So right here in our VS code, the first thing we shall notice is our project structure. Basically what we have is our virtual environment right here, the main.py file where our code for the project is located. We just basically have our first API instance as well as a simple API endpoint. Next thing we have is the pyproject.tomo file. This is where we shall specify things like dependencies as well as all the important metadata for our project. We shall also go ahead and write other configurations inside here. And then we can have our readme.md. So this is automatically created for us with instructions on how to run and deploy our app and then a uv.log file that you will use to keep track of specific version dependencies that we can use in case we are installing them from an already existing project. Once that is done, now let's go ahead and look at how to create or how to build an image from this simple application right here. The first thing we're going to do is to go to our documentation. One thing I wanted to show you guys is we have basically two ways of installing UV inside Docker. The first is through the use of distroless images. And these are images that come with only the binaries of UV. Now this can be important in a production like app where you do not want to install everything that UV offers, but the dependencies only or the binaries only. So what you do is to just basically copy UV and UVX from these images and then paste them into the container, make them executable there and you'll be good to go. The next thing which can work for us in like a development environment is through the use of derived images. Now these are derived from other existing images like the Alpine Linux and the Debian Linux. We can also have those that are installed or basically built from Python 
images like let's say Python 3.x Alpine and so on. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is to show you how we can build a container or run UV in a container that is derived from Debian Linux. So what I'm going to do is to copy this image right here. So this is a Debian derived image containing UV and it will provide us with both the Debian operating system as well as UV. So we have Debian but inside that Debian is an installation of UV that we can work with. To start let us create a new file right here. This file is going to be called the docker ignore. Now this is where I'm going to add all the files I do not want to put in the docker environment or I do not want to copy inside our work directory within our app. So I'm going to add venv as well as this pycache folder right here. You can feel free to fill this with all the other files you do not want to copy when creating the container image. And I'm going to also go ahead and create the docker file. So this is where we shall define all the steps for running our or building our image. So inside here is where we shall first of all build from the base image which I've copied from the website. And this will basically bring in the Debian operating system but will have UV installed. So we shall have UV installed inside that Debian operating system. I'll describe my work da to be the app directory inside our container. And then the next thing I'll do is to basically copy two files that I'm going to use to install requirements within our project. I'll start with the pi project.tomo and then I'll also copy the uv log. So this is exactly what I'm going to be using to install our dependencies. Once I'm done doing that, the next thing I'm going to do here is to go ahead and then run UV sync. So UV sync will basically read from our pi predict as well as our UV log to help us install our dependencies as we've specified them. So in here is where I'm going to say UV sync. And then to use our updated dependencies from our log file, I'll just provide the locked flag. So that will make sure that it reads from UV log and will install all the updated dependencies. Once that is done, I'll then have to copy everything that we have in our folder right here into the container file system. So that's going to be copy dot into app. Next, I'll run the command for running our app. So since we're using UV, we shall run UV run. And then the command we want to run. Now, since we're running a fast API server and we have the fast API CLI installed, we shall run UV run fast API and then dev or run, depending on how you want to run. But since we're in development, we shall run UV fast API dev. And then, for our host, we shall specify that we are going to make use of 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, meaning we want our app to run on all available IP addresses. And then our port will be the default port, so I provide port 8000 in here. Let me provide the opening quote right here. So yes, this is how we're going to be running our container. So yeah, these are the steps we're going to take to build our image and then we shall use this to run our container. So let us look at the steps we've done so far. So one thing we can note is we've used an image that UV has provided and this is an image based on the Debian operating system. This will help us to run a container with Debian Linux, but that Debian Linux will have UV installed inside it. We've created a work directory so this is where all our code is going to be hosted and it's where our code will be running from. We then copied our installation files which are the pyproject.tomo as well as the uv log inside our work directory. Running uv sync helps us to go ahead and install all the dependencies from our project installation files providing this locked 
flag or locked option will help us to use the exact versions from iuv.lock. And then we copy the rest of the code. Then after copying the rest of the code, we shall simply go ahead and run our app. So let's go ahead and build a container image from what we've so far done. To do that, I'm going to be making use of the docker build command. And what this does is to make use of our docker file to help us create a new image. And then that new image is where we shall best to run a container process. So when I say docker build and then run dash dash help, you see access to all the available commands. But since I have a Docker tutorial, I think I'll leave it at the top. You guys can check it out. And then, yeah, you'll be able to understand what's going on here in case you do not know how to use Docker. But yeah, once we've done writing our Docker file, we can now just build our image by using Docker build. We specify a name and a tag for our image using the dash T option and that name is going to be our first api let's say to do's we can provide a tag call it version one maybe an endpoint to where our docker file is going to be so that's where our image is going to be built from if i press enter our process will begin which is going to build our image from this setup we've done so far so all these steps that we've defined in our docker file will be run and our container image will then be built. So this will go ahead and download things depending on how fast your internet is. And then you'll be in position to run a container from the newly created image. All right, our image has been created. Let us go ahead and now run a container from this image. But to first see our created images, we shall run Docker image ls and that will show us the available images so we have our first api to do this image right here so this is a container image and it is from this where we run our first a docker <laughs> it is from this where we run our docker process or a docker container to do that i'm going to go ahead and say docker run and then i'll provide all the docker option to start i'll map the port that's going to be running our app to the port 8000 that's going to be on our local machine. This will help us to access our running app with, within our container from our local machine or our local host IP address. And then I'm also going to specify the name of our container. So I'll just call it to do's app. And then once I'm done doing that, I may also go ahead and specify the name of the image I want to run our container from. So in this case, I'll just point to first API to do's and then the tag, which is version one and press enter. So this will go ahead, create the virtual environment, uh, use what we've already set up within our Docker file to then finally run our app. Now, one thing you'll notice is instead of running our app on the local host date, thousand IP address. This time is run on 0.0.0.1, .0 meaning that this is run on all available IP addresses within our Docker container. And then we can get access to the port 8000. So since we've mapped this onto our local host 8000, if I click on this within our browser, we can see that our app is running on local host 8000. So our message is being returned. So let us confirm a few things right here. If I take you back to my terminal right here, I'm going to go ahead. Let me first of all remove what I was doing here. So this is our folder in here. Let me first kill this, Control and D, open up a new terminal right here. Let me close that also and open up a new tab. So inside this tab, within the same folder. I want to go ahead and ls, so this will list all our available files. And within this, I want to go ahead and confirm if we are really running UV inside our Docker container. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use Docker exec. So this will help us to run an interactive 
shell or run a command within a running container. So let me first go ahead and run docker ps. So this will go ahead and basically show us information about the current running containers. And inside here we have our first API app, but we've given it a name to do. So this is what we're going to be using to run or basically execute a command within the container. So let me enlarge this for you guys to see. If I go back to docker exec, I'll provide the dash i for an interactive session and then a tty for a terminal. I will then provide the name of the container on to run that command in which is a to do app. So this is the name of the container we are running our first API in. And then the command I want to run is bash, which will open up a new terminal inside there. So if I ls, I have all the project structure as we have it. And then if I run uv dash dash help, now I can see that uv is run inside or uv can perfectly execute inside the container. We can also be in position to run commands from packages we've installed by running uv run. So we see that we have access to uvcon, watch files, web sockets, and so on. We even have the first API CLI right here. So yeah, we've successfully been able to run UV inside our Docker container for our simple first API application. And what we've done so far is to do that from an existing image or from a derived image, which is our UV Debian Slim image.